Hello, welcome to another Great Cow Basic um, training program. Um, this training program is going to be um, looking at how to use the software to control some logic and uh, to control the two LEDs with some switch control. Okay, and this is part three and day three. Okay, so um, let me just um, get on to the PowerPoint here. So what we've seen so far is how to install uh, use and um, use the code to the programming tool chain to make an LED operate. Yesterday, we saw how we made the two LEDs flash, and today we're going to turn those LEDs off alternately using a switch. Tomorrow, we're going to be using four LEDs. We're going to grow into it. Um, yes, oh, yesterday, I should really uh, remove all these um, comments, shouldn't I? Yeah? Yesterday, we've seen that um, we connect a programmer to here, and that we have five wires connected to the PIC here, here, here here and here and that actually um, makes it program we will be showing you how you can do exactly the same with AVRs uh, from and Arduinos very shortly so um, let me have a look at the lab camera look I've changed the um, the board I had this one yesterday okay look I had this one yesterday um, and a bit of a mess because you can't follow this so i have decided to throw that away well i haven't uh, my friend uh, chris roper down in south africa has helped me do this um and that's where we left it yesterday we had two leds flashing just like that uh, and we didn't have this switch okay so i'm going to share with you um the actual board now um so what we're actually doing here is is we've got a PDEP chip, we have the orientation here, so this is pin one up this this in, in here, two LEDs here and here connected, and now we've got this, which is what's called a pull-up switch. I've got a resistor to the port up to five volts, and I've got a switch attached. So it's pretty hard for you to understand that, so what Chris has done for you is produce this diagram, which I will uh, put up on the uh, forum very shortly, so that you can um, build this on your own. And if you look at my, um, if you look at the, look at this, oh, wait a minute, I might have a better way of doing it in actual fact. Oh, no, I don't, do I have a picture? Oh, there we go, look. No, that won't work. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way of showing you the desktop and the lab at the same time. Um, nope, can't do it. Um, but but let, let me reassure you that this diagram, which Chris has put together, is the same as this here. And what's important about this is that I've added this, I've added a switch in here. And what we're going to do is push that switch in a moment, and it's going to control when those LEDs come on and off. Okay. Um, we will be going to a more advanced board tomorrow. Uh, this board will then allow us to do the potentiometer. Okay, we will be showing you very shortly how to um, do the same thing with an Uno using a simulator or a real board. So we're going to really stretch what uh, what we're doing here. So um, let's get started um, in 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 the uh, in the editor. Let's just recap what we've got. We've got a board here. We have a program if we need it. We have an editor, and I can zoom in on that editor, and we can have a look at what's going on. And this is the program as we left it yesterday. So I'm just going to go into that same editor, and I'm just going to create a new file here. I'm going to save it straight away. I'm going to call it um, Training Three. There we go. Look, give it a name. Look, okay and put the same code back in. So what we're going to do very quickly, going to teach you how to make that work for you. So I'm just going to delete the uh, loop inside there. Let's just recap what we had yesterday. We said yesterday we had an LED attached to um, R81 and R82, and we were going to turn it on and off. So today we're going to introduce a few things, things called constants. The beauty of a constant and we define a constant by using the word define, is I can refer to um, a port, a digit, uh, we can replace that code with a port name. So if I can say green LED is RA1, and that I'm gonna cheat here a bit, you'll see why in a moment. Um, red LED is gonna be RA2, which it, which it was yesterday, okay? And on RA0, I'm gonna put a switch. And the beauty of using constants is, is it makes the code readable, 
but it also makes it portable okay so we can then change it between different uh, chips which will be showing you so green LED is on RA1 the red LED is on RA2 and we need to define those as out as we did yesterday but what I'm doing is replacing things I'm going to set the DIR of the switch as in now one other little trick we need to do because we don't need any of that code is I'm going to add a line here which I really recommend you do which is called add an option and this programmer option uh, will ensure that your code is 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 of high quality it validates all your variables okay so i'm going to type in explicit so okay so what we're going to do down here we're just going to say to it if the switch is on turn the leds on or off okay so if and i can no, i can copy this if switch equals off we'll say on then do something and this is the syntax else and if and you can see in the editor you get you've got some logic lading in here um green led equals on um you can do it in case sensitive insensitive um great car basic isn't too fussed about um the syntax of these things oh typo and then I'm just going to take a copy of that and I'm going to put it in under this else. But I'm going to invert them up. So if the switch is on, turn the green LED on and red LED off. Else, if it's therefore off, we're going to put the green LED off and the red LED on. Let's just do a syntax check on that. So you've got any errors? Great, no errors. Let's program that chip. So programming that chip. I'm looking down on the desk here, so I have to turn away. And now I've got a red LED on. If I push the button, I get a green LED. Isn't that cool? That's pretty simple. And all we've done is connected the switch. Vera pull-up resistor. Sorry about that. All we've done here is, is pull this up to make it work. Look at that. And so there are a number of ways of doing this. Um, an, a, another way of doing it would be to um, use some another syntax. Um, that syntax is relatively simple. Um, so we're going to call this one. I'm going to save it as training B. Should have called the other one A, I, say, I suppose. Um, and... Very simply, I'm going to type it in. It's called set with. And then, look, the editor is telling me that I can set something, a target bit or a port, with a source port. So I can say set with hmm, green LED with the switch. So set it with the switch. And then I'm going to set the red LED with not the switch. Oh, I better be just make it. I was using some slang there. And I can program that. Should be good. And again. And what the code is doing, it's saying set the green LED to the same state on or off as the switch and set the LED as not the state of the switch. So it's either it's the opposite. So if it's on, it sets it to off. And if it's off, it sets it to on. So what we've created here is a very simple program. We've introduced the concept of constants. And for good practice, it's always good to put constants in uppercase. OK, so you're very clear about what they are. OK, now one of the questions that's come in is whether uh, this code is, um, is, is it actually truly a assembler so does it generate assembler can i learn assembler microchip assembler from this and the answer is absolutely you can so let's just go back to um, our previous training uh, program training code three we're going to look at the assembler and look 
you can learn assembly here and it's fully documented so you can learn how uh, great cow basic sets up all the back end for you because so we make we set up a lot of that for you okay we set the timers we set the oscillators we set things up for you to make it really easy to use so at the front end you've got this program high level language you've got assembler which is a lower level language and then you've got we generate the hexadecimal file that goes inside that chip now looking at um, what we were doing later on we'll be doing as i said we'll be doing exactly the same for um, the avr very shortly um, but tomorrow we will be migrating to this board here which is very similar to the um, microchip lookout board um, which means that we can do some clever stuff so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, you get something you get something from it